Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And today guys, I have got the March Arrow Video Hall in. Uh, Arrow Video and MVD Entertainment have sent these to me to review and show off to you guys here today. And I'm so excited to get into it. I got some Arrow titles. I've got some 88 Films titles. And we are going to do the full treatment, guys. I'm going to show them off to you guys right here now. Then we're going to go to the table. We're going to do the full unboxing for each one of them. And I can't wait. I can't wait. There is a title in here uh, that I have been anticipating and looking forward to for a very long time. And the first one that I'm going to show off to you guys is, of course, American Werewolf in London. This 4K set. Look at this thing. It's so beautiful. And nice, and I am going to compare this to uh, the Blu-ray release because I do have that when it first came out. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this one, guys. Expect a full review um, on the channel for sure uh, coming very soon. But yeah, American Werewolf in London. Uh, this is probably in my top 50 movies of all time. It's definitely like in my top 10 horror movies of all time. I absolutely love this movie. So Really looking forward to checking this one out, guys. American Werewolf in London. Like I said, we're going to do a full unboxing on it here in a second. And I'm really curious to see if it has every. I think it has everything the other one did, but I'm, I'm curious to see if it does. I also got uh, Come Drink With Me. This is some kind of martial arts story. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Another one. I need to do Kung Fu Month, uh, damn it, so I can dive into these titles. But... Uh, yeah, definitely some cool looking cover art on that one. Again, we're going to unbox it here in a second. And I also got To Sleep as is to dream or to sleep so as is to dream these titles throw me off sometimes but to sleep so as to dream uh definitely looks very interesting i have to look on the back for this one uh it looks like a private detective story uh but yeah definitely looks pretty cool it's a japanese film so i don't know a private detective japanese film sounds pretty cool i'm trying to see what year this one came out in and this is from 1986 so yeah gonna unbox this here in a second to sleep so as to dream. And then I got Shaolin Mantis from uh, 88 Films, so another Kung Fu title. I am just really racking up on these Kung Fu titles, especially from 88 Films. So uh, definitely looking forward to, to checking these out. I'm going to do a Kung Fu month very soon, guys. Uh, so look forward to that. And I also got Monkey Kung Fu, which is an interesting title uh, for a movie also. So yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Um, all right, so I got all my releases. Let's go to the table. Let's unbox these things. And see what's in them. Let's do it. All right, guys. So let's get into the stunning American Werewolf in London 4K box set. And I did compare it to my Blu-ray set. And it's uh, pretty much, guys, the same release. It is the exact same release, only it is a 4K disc instead of a Blu-ray. Um, and that was really my only gripe with this. I, I was just hoping they would do like some maybe some new artwork or something. I do love this artwork, though. I really do. I love this case. Um, but it's just the fact that I already own it and you know getting the 4k is nice and I'm excited to watch it But um, I would have just liked something new with the packaging other than just the exact same thing that we got before but Looking on the back guys. I'll kind of zoom in on the specs on the J card right there for you guys You can pause it and check it out. You got the cast right there guys or I guess the uh, the special features but then you got the cast and then you got the specs down there at the bottom and up there, the synopsis and everything. A film by John Landis. Yeah, guys, this is just one of my favorite movies. I'm so happy to have this in 4K now. Go ahead and take this out of the cover. And you got that slaughtered lamb star on the back. Just awesome art. This is probably like my favorite artwork um, of any era release, to be honest. Or at least it has to be like top three. I don't know. It, it's so good. I love it. Um, then you got the 4K case right here, guys. Go ahead and zoom in on the back. I'll show you the show you the spine right there. I love that image of the werewolf. It's so good. Um, go ahead and open her up. You got some you got some disc art. And yeah, this just has the 4K. No Blu-ray is included in the set. I guess that would explain why it's it's pretty cheap. It's only $32.99 for this release, which is not a bad price at all for a new 4K boutique title, especially with this awesome uh, slipcase right there. So but yeah, just the 4K with this one. You have some collectible cards inside. And yeah, you got a lot of good stuff in here. Got a lot of good stuff. But I guess one good thing that this means is that all of the special features are available 
on the 4K disc. So that's actually pretty cool because you don't always get the 4K features on the uh, the 4K disc or the special features on the 4K disc. So you flip this over and you have that classic American Werewolf uh, poster. Love that poster right there. Uh, but I definitely love the Arrow artwork just a little bit more. Kind of flip that around like I said. These are these cards are pretty cool. I like these cards right here, but I'm pretty sure the exact they're the exact same ones that were in the other one. Um, and then we'll open this up, put the cards back in, put that out to the side. Same poster that was in the other one as well. So if you already have this, you already have this poster. Still an awesome poster. And then you flip that. I'll show it more in depth when I do my my actual review of this one. But very cool stuff and then you got this booklet right here this is the same artwork that uh i know there was some kind of a slip cover for this and like best buy a few while ago um so yeah it was like a couple years ago i saw like a slip cover with the same artwork so it's interesting i wonder who does the art for that flip through this booklet a lot of cool images right here guys yeah i'm uh, just looking at all these images i'm excited to watch this <laughs> i'm excited to watch it's just one of the best transformation scenes uh that werewolf transformation scenes absolutely stunning uh sorry i can't talk very well today guys i'm kind of kind of fighting a cold a little under the weather but all right let's throw that to the side and we'll get into to sleep is as to dream so as to dream i'm sorry i keep getting this wrong so yeah i i love these little titles that i've just never heard of before um, and especially when it's like world cinema, I get to explore different types of cinema um, outside my realm because it is something I haven't done enough of and it is something I would like to start doing a little bit more on this channel. So we'll zoom in for the synopsis right there. And then you got your special features, you got the specs and all that stuff. You got the spine. I'm not a huge fan of this artwork to be honest. I feel like they, they could have done a little bit more with it, but it is kind of cool. It kind of has that ink blot uh, effect to it. but. All right, yeah, you open it up. Ooh, I do like this disc artwork, though. That is really cool disc artwork on that, for sure. Nice little booklet. We'll kind of flip through this a little bit. So, yeah, this looks like some kind of a, a Japanese noir thriller, which is actually pretty cool. Actually pretty cool. So it does have reversible cover art. We'll flip that around as well. And, guys, the links for all of these to purchase will be in the description below if you want to... Uh, purchase those based on my recommendation. Use those links down below. They are Amazon affiliate links. So I uh, would definitely appreciate that. But I do like that artwork. I do like that artwork when you flip it around on that one for sure. And let's get into Come Drink With Me by Ching uh, Pelping in a Kung Fu film. All right. Take the packaging on that one. I love the artwork on this. I think it's awesome. Stunning artwork on this release and we'll go ahead and show you the spine show you the reverse right there the synopsis the special features and then down below the specs so definitely some cool stuff both the spines look the same take this out of the slipcover i wish the other one had a slipcover i wish they would do slipcovers with all of them but they don't show you the spine again same stuff on the back go ahead and open this up you have the arrow video artwork on this one so it is interesting how sometimes they will do aero video artwork on the disc and sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll just do the classic poster on the disc like we saw with American Werewolf and uh, To Sleep As To Dream. So we'll flip through this booklet right here. Some cool images. Some cool fighting stance images. Awesome stuff. We'll go ahead and flip this artwork. That's pretty cool, but I definitely do like the um the other the arrow video artwork with this one i like how they change the font on that when you flip it over that's definitely really cool it's a nice touch how they do that but um i'll put this card back in here this is the generic arrow video card put the slip case back on and we'll get into these shawl we'll get into these uh shawl brothers films right here guys i've got so many of these kung fu uh 88 films releases now i think this makes like seven uh, so between this and the Shaw Brothers box set, like I'm going to be busy when I finally start up Kung Fu Month. Going to have a lot of stuff to watch. So Monkey Kung Fu, very interesting name. I, lo I love 88 Films. They do great on their packaging. This is just such a nice slick uh, slipcover. I love it. Real glossy. Just like It just feels extra glossy. I don't know. 
Uh, but Monkey Kung Fu. Is that what I said? Monkey Kung Fu. Really cool image on the back. That's some great cinematography right there on the back. And we'll kind of zoom in on this uh, synopsis. Special features, casting, specs down below if you guys want to pause it. And we'll take this out of the case. Same artwork right there. Oh, I forgot to flip it over. We'll show you the back. With these 88 films, they always do the hole punch in the back. They do not do that with Arrow, uh, but they do them with 88 films. I have noticed that. And we'll open it up. Cool disc art on this one. It's the same era or 88 films artwork, so that is cool. Nice poster. I love the poster work that they do. That's just going the extra mile, guys. Putting a poster of the film in there. I know it's folded up, but it, that, that is just going the extra mile. You know, if, if more, you know, companies need to take notes of this, of this type of work. You know, not even Criterion does that. They need to do that as well. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. And we'll do the reversible cover arts on this one. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Yeah, Monkey Kung Fu, guys. Again, I'll be leaving the links for all of these down below. American Werewolf does come out uh, this week, March the uh, 15th. But all the rest of these come out next week on March the 22nd. Uh, so we're a week early on all of these except for American Werewolf in London, which will be available by the time uh, this video goes up. All right, so taking, taking the wrap off of this one. Oh, almost scared myself there. And this is Shaolin Mantis. Definitely some awesome artwork on this. Love the artwork. Again, another really super glossy uh, slipcover on this one. Let's look at the spine. We'll look at the back. We'll show you all this image at the top. We'll show you the synopsis, the special features, the casting list, all of the specs down below, guys. Take this out of the slipcover. Like I said, really cool artwork. Lo really digging this artwork. Pretty much all the same stuff on the back. And then we'll flip it open. Awesome disc art right there. Another cool, cool and funky poster. This poster is a little bit funky. I gotta be honest. Alright. I always hate doing the poster show-offs on these videos because I just can't, you know, I can't zoom out to get the, the full the full scope of it. But you know, if I review it, I'll definitely I'll definitely show it off. And then we this is not a booklet. This is not a booklet. These are uh, these are postcards. So let me I hate to, to rip this off, but that's that's exactly what we're gonna do, guys. That is exactly so this are these are like prey mantis cards. Um yeah, so really cool postcards right here with the Prey Mantis on the back. This is awesome. Has anybody seen any of these movies? You know, let me know if they're any good. Let me know if they're worth checking out, like, immediately. We have to kickstart Kung Fu Month early. Jeez Louise. Look at that. Looks cool. Yeah, this is a real blind spot for me, guys. These kung fu movies. A real blind spot. I'm going to be honest. I don't know anything about them. I have not even seen, like, the old school, like, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee movies. So I definitely have not seen these. All right, yeah. Very cool reversible cover art. I hate how they do the whole punch. It just, it just, I know I'm getting a review copy, and it keeps me from reselling it or whatever. But I don't know. It's just not cool. It's not cool, 88 Films. But... Uh, there y'all have it guys. That is my haul this month from MVD and Arrow Video and 88 Films. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching. I'm definitely super excited to get an American Werewolf in London 4K. You can expect a review for that very soon on the channel. And then reviews for these definitely sometime um, in the future for sure. But I appreciate you guys watching. The link for all of these are down below in the description. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video and turn on those bell notifications for all future videos, and we'll see you next time.